Let's get over to our man, Mr. Dave Mazda, head of product and managing director of direction. And as you're over at our website, folks, you'll see the direction banner. You just hit that banner and you are off to the races. Dave Mazda, how you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. And you know, when I read that card, uh, I, I think of uh, you and direction a lot. Take action on your ideas. And you know, when I look at the context of you know, the last five years, uh, it's pretty amazing that how far ahead of the curve, you know, direction really is in the context of getting product out to the marketplace that, you know, people like to trade. No, exactly right. We appreciate the support. Uh, the support. One of the best things about ETFs is that uh, whether you're a long-term investor and you want to go find and build a portfolio at zero cost, um, you can do that. Uh, with ETFs, um, and you can build a global portfolio under five basis points, literally set it and forget it. However, in this market environment, um, there really is an opportunity for folks interested in trading. With that being said, you need to have the aptitude and ability to do that, monitor portfolio positions, you know, leverage resources like yourself. And so for the folks tuning in today, you know, and which is one of the reasons why over the last couple of years, and even through this year in the volatility, we've seen a real uptick in flows and volume in directions, leverage and inverse ETFs, because you know it's great when you look at your portfolio and it's just up 25, 30%, um, and you don't have to do much. Just buy the NASDAQ, buy the S&P 500. Sure. Those days are over. Uh, and that's one of the reasons why you know, we've seen an increase in activity, both in our broad-based leverage and inverse ETFs, you know, your uh, SPXL, SPXS, um, that's, that's been interesting. On the fixed income side, as we've talked about before, TMF, TMV, and then into more niche areas or narrow areas, whether it's single stocks in this earnings season, or you know some of the other uh, some of the other exposures that we're seeing, you know, and a big one has been energy, you know, as that space has finally kind of come back in the forefront, uh, and some of these earnings that they put up um, have been remarkable. There's no doubt. You know what's so cool, Dave and folks, is that you know when you look back, it's like as you just we we're talking about if you're building a portfolio, I mean, it makes so much sense to build a full portfolio in the ETF sector. I mean, you know what's amazing about it, folks, is this. So picture, the mantra always was, folks, okay, you want, you know, the balanced portfolio. And the reality is, it's, it was a lot harder getting a balanced portfolio that you'd buy this stock and buy this stock and buy this stock when you can go in your energy ETFs. You can go in your bond ETFs, whether you're a bull or a bear. That's up to you, folks, okay? But the bottom line is that you can build a nice portfolio. And now, I'm talking about the single ones at this point, folks, okay? You know, but you can build a nice portfolio. Then, as markets that we have right now, exactly. That you can either leverage it out and trade it or basically hedge it out to the best of your ability. So it, it, it's amazing to me that how fast the acceleration has actually gone, Dave. But now it's almost common sense that you can see it's just not going to stop because it, it's a better deal. It's a, it's a better deal because you, you could actually trade or invest in more products with one product. That's what, I mean, that's how it comes down. Do you know what I mean? If you, if you just like, if you, you think energy is going up, you're in. If you think that, I'm sure you're getting a lot of action in the bond market now too, right? Energy and bonds are just unbelievable. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, even, even as energy as an investment started to come back, as the price of oil was, was ripping to start the year, the commodities complex came back too. We actually didn't see traders begin to gravitate toward a handful of names. And I'll throw out a few tickers for folks. It's, that's ERX, uh, which is a, a 2X bull fund, right. EROY. 2x bear fund, then gush and drip. Again, a bull and a bear on the 2x side. Gush and drip are for just oil and gas companies, so actually a little bit of a higher beta play on the energy space. ERX, ERY, your full S&P 500 energy names. And it's inter it was interesting to me because I was kind of waiting, saying, when is this going to happen? Right. When are we going to see a rotation away from people continuing to trade your tech names into it? It's really happened in the last month or so because – I think there's finally, there's not a retail capitulation. In fact, anything, I think we've seen institutions start to capitulate, but we're now seeing retail traders and others begin to say, hey, where are the opportunities gonna be? This inflation story, transitory has been thrown out a long time ago. We got a big Fed meeting this week. I think we know the answer there, probably gonna be 75, but what comes next? And we're already hearing from some of these companies, whether it's Meta, 
more importantly, I'm thinking like an Amazon or even to a lesser extent Apple, even though, man, that company shows a lot of resiliency in any, sure. any operating environment that, hey, things are not looking so hot for 4Q and even into 2023. But the space that may continue to kind of be, be, be even more resilient, again, not to call it Apple here, is the energy, is that energy complex. Obviously, we'll get some headlines and whatever situation, uh, pipe dream of putting a, putting a profit tax there and carbon tax. That's a conversation for another day. But it's still going to create an opportunity, especially in the midterms, for some real activity here, both on the bull side and the bear side. Yeah, huge opportunity. I'm so glad you brought up the, con the uh, capitulation, Dave, because I was asked that. I was on the TT Ameritrade Network the other day, and I said to the host, I says, when capitulation comes, you're not going to be asking any of us that. <laughs> <laughs> Have a great one, Dave. Look forward to speaking to you two weeks from today. Thank you. Talk soon.